When it comes to drilling an oil and gas well, who decides where and how a well is drilled or if it gets drilled at all? It's a complex game with conflicting interests and high stakes. But first, who are the players? Well, there's the person who owns the underground oil and gas, we call those mineral rights. They stand to gain royalties from drilling companies who lease those rights. And there's the person who owns the land where the well needs to go, and the people next door, and the people who work and go to school across the street, plus the company drilling the well, its managers and executives, as well as its engineers, geologists, and roughnecks, and don't forget the financial investors. We're not done yet. We've also got regulators, elected officials, and government employees from the city, to the county, to the state, and in some cases, even the federal government. Drilling transcends political boundaries through both the fuel it provides and the pollutants it produces. So this one well indirectly affects people all over the world. So what's the goal of this game? Well, say you're playing as an executive at an oil and gas company. What motivates you? Now step into the role of a parent sending your child to preschool across the street from a well pad. Different goals, right? Or imagine you're a state lawmaker concerned with keeping your constituents happy. Winning means something different for you. Let's set our game in a real place, Broomfield, Colorado, a town that has had to make a lot of decisions about drilling recently, and see how it plays out there. An oil and gas company makes the first move, leasing mineral rights from owners for a place where they think they might find oil and gas underground. It's Broomfield's move next. The city forms a task force to learn more about the public health impacts of drilling. Somewhere along the way, the state also takes a turn approving or denying the permit. It's a tenuous balancing act. Now, it's up to the company and the city to negotiate how to drill safely together. To make it official, Broomfield City Council votes on an agreement, a legal contract detailing how this is all going to work. If either side breaks the agreement, they could end up in court. So what are the stakes? The actions we take now have impacts on the economy and the ecosystem. There will be winners and losers today and down the road. What if we add new players? The grandson of a family living adjacent to the well pad. The great niece of the oil company executive. The head of the power company 50 years from now, tasked with providing electricity to this community. Or the city water manager, making sure there's enough water for people, animals, and industry. The question of who decides where to drill, how to drill, or whether to drill at all, doesn't have an easy answer. It's a complex, evolving game that no one wants to lose.